Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. You know what I'm going to say before we even get into it, right? Everybody, everybody wants me to have an air gap around the base. Now, I'll be honest with you. When I tested air gaps in a different save, I even talked about air gaps in yesterday's episode. Um, when we used, when I used air gaps previously, they didn't actually have any effect that was notable, so noticeable at all. Particularly for the extra resources you'd be throwing into that because of the large radius. However, this is mob rules. If people say build an air gap, we'll build an air gap. Um, maybe, maybe in my first test, I don't know, I missed a roof tile or something like that, and it was letting air in. There could be multiple reasons why it didn't work the first time around. We'll give it another go. Why not? And, and we've got eight days before, that's specifically why I ended yesterday's episode when I did. We've got eight days, so if we need to cut a bunch of tiles and put an air gap around this one, we can do that fairly easily. The other thing as well is that I wanted to remind people this series, we aren't using mountain bases and we aren't, aren't using kill boxes. Otherwise... I mean, you're right. The, the suggestion of building into a mountain would make a lot more sense because then we get less heat variation. But every series we've done is has been some variation of mountain base and or kill box, which is why I'm trying to specifically not do that this time. So we are going to stick to, of course, the external base. But I guess we could put another layer of just something like that. Do you think the, the generator counts as a wall, though? Even if it did, it probably wouldn't be ideal, would it? Um, We could pull it a block away or move it a block down, I guess. Yikes, this is going to be expensive to replace the whole thing now, huh? Unless we do something like... No, no, I'm not going to do that at all. I'll try and, I'll, I'll try and add an air gap where we where we can. Um, the only issue with things, of course, the only air gap we can really add is, like, there. Um, and that's not fantastic. I guess it would be better than nothing, though. It would work just as, just as well, right? And then we get a couple of air gaps around the edge. Okay, fuck it. Let's try it. Again, that's why I said the 8th, so that we could actually get time to... Uh, Get time to work on these things. The other thing as well is I want to go through the prisoners and see if we can prioritize maybe saving one of them. Maybe keeping one of these guys who is arguably the most important. Now, immortals, if we do have any immortal prisoners, we actually have two of them. Um, I don't care about immortal prisoners because if they die, they will just resurrect after it's all over. So we don't have to worry about those guys too much. What we do have to worry about is people like, say, Moody, for example, who I think was pretty good. Just for a bit body pure is tough. 11 social. Okay, let's go by priorities here then. Um, I mean, Tolda is fantastic. Fast walker kind. Good plant skill. Looking at everybody here, it would be either Tolda or um, Vexaganyobe. Look, don't don't ask me. Uh, who's actually not too bad as well. Depressive is pretty bad, but that's why they've been in prison. Great memory is obviously fantastic. Uh, what about you? What do you like? Pretty bad. Medical is okay, but you got go to use addiction. If I had to prioritize it, I think we'd start with... Oh, but Tolda's immortal. Oh, never mind then. Um, so you got the choice of what? Moody, this person, Kobe, or Josh? I guess we'll go for you then. Oh, but you've got a prosthetic hand. Fuck. Um, obviously, I'm only going to base it on skills. We could always just try and recruit Tolda early, but again, Tolda will survive. Let's go for you, and then everyone else will put on no interaction. To give our guys as much time as possible to get things done. Bear in mind, we are going to have a lot of stone cutting now to do. And then we'll just go through them one at a time, recruiting them very slowly. I think that's probably the, the, the best bet here. So how are we doing with our crops? The cotton, this is going to be the final cotton harvest. Um, and that one is still set to, I just want to make sure I've got all my growing zones set to do not. Yeah, so allow so is obviously turned off there. The beets might just grow in time. Bear in mind, it's the 11th of September, isn't it? The final growing zone. So we'll just be able to get those harvested regardless. As long as the cold doesn't start killing them, it doesn't really matter too much. We've got plenty of fibers. Uh, plenty of fibers, plenty of burlap there as well. So that's really not the limiting factor. It's just getting bricks, limestone, or any of the stone blocks. We've got 91 slate, to be fair. I might put people on slightly higher stone cutting, you know. Might do that. It's probably not a terrible idea at all, is it? We kept Boone as a slightly higher priority stone cutter as well. Maybe even get down some more stone cutting benches. Do we have enough for that? It's 105 steel. Fuck it, let's do it. This could be the difference between life and death, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit to that. Ale Psychic Soothe. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, fine. And Robo Daddy got elected with five votes. Focus skill is intellectual. Might not be too bad if we do eventually get some room for, um, for, I was going to say research benches, but in hindsight, the, um, <laughs> the, uh, this always ends up being quite deadly, doesn't it? The Inferno. Let's put some doors on that, if nothing else. Uh, maybe doors work the same way. Maybe we could build a whole wall out of doors. And we could just open and close them to right. Okay, that's a terrible idea. Um, all right, let's get insulated door with fiber, and then I guess just whatever we can build out of steel is fine. No, oh, fuck! That was the one thing I said. Oh, you son of a bitch! It will be fine unless we get cold. You had to go and say it. You had to open your stupid friggin' mouth. Here, get to work. This game, I hate it. <laughs> it's out to get me. 
Toxic spewer for pay. That's a very rude thing to call Sharamus. Right, let's get this cloth as soon as possible. I don't think we're going to need all of this cloth so desperately. But I want to make sure it's harvested just so that if we do have... Oh, there we go. It's all starting to die now. If we do have some desperate need for... Oh, can we get this stuff harvested? This is probably a little bit more important, isn't it? Shit. Okay, go, go over here. Go. No, stop, stop, stop. Clear prioritize work. And now... Go. Are you guys... Sorry, are you guys all right? Go. I think I'm being ignored here, people. Go. Please. I don't know what... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate that. Thank you. Good guy. G great guy, that Rob. I've always said that. What a fucking joke. I don't know why they weren't prioritizing that. Then I assume it's because I'd already given them orders. This is madness, but we might be able to pull it off. We had 141 limestone. We've got enough insulation to make this work. We've got another 178 insulated fibers. I think this will work. It'll give us a... Why? Both the batteries just blew in a period of a day. <laughs> That's also why uh, I've reinstalled the batteries on different sides of the map. So if this one blows and cuts the cables, we've still got two more connected. If this one blows and cuts the cables, we've got these two connected. I, I will probably put this one up here as well at some point if we have enough time. So this should work. He says... Not very optimistically. So what we're doing is we're digging all this out. We're going to move uh, most of the base down here. So we're basically moving everything down kind of southwesterly. What are you doing now? Consuming simple milk. There's no time for that, Sharamus. Extremely selfish. I love that psychic tooth lasted all of about two minutes. Do you have anyone else at all good at construction? Tape here. Oh, God. Um, I don't know why you're on set to priority two. Was that Robo Daddy? Might have been. No, I think it was Rob, actually. Um... So what I've got right now is the highest priority. Let's drop that. Let's drop this one. I'm going to redo this all when... Let's just take away train combat. Um, obviously, when winter's over, we are going to have to redo all of this. I'll make Robo Daddy a high-tier high tailor boy. Um, harvesting growing is a bit pointless. We go ahead and get rid of that. Let's just simplify this right, 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 right down. How about that? Um, refuel, rearm, whatever. Doesn't matter too much. Probably irrelevant. So let's get... You want us a builder? Oh, God, I feel like you might end up wasting a lot. Does, if the hammer gives success chance, we'll give the hammer to the other guy. Uh, it does. 25%. Drop the hammer. Um, get back to work. Uh, who was that? Rob? Tapir, right? Tapir, yeah. He's got a double passion in construction, too, so you might as well start training him up early. You can also now... No. <laughs> you can now also... Oh, really? You can't equip it? <laughs> Wrong. Hang on. There we are. Right. Uh, we should probably also just start getting this guy to work as well. It's going to add a lot in the long term if we start training him up. You know, obviously pretty early on here. And I think with the hammer too, we're very unlikely to waste too many blocks. It was a little apprehensive because obviously limestone blocks were apparently asked to get to. We are quite the shaman to mine the mountains to get more stuff. Oh, what was that? Short circuit in the right. Oh my god, they put the fire up but they didn't rebuild the roof. You stinky boy. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, God, Sharamus. <laughs> oh, this is going badly. Okay. I, I need to dial it in a little bit. I'm getting, I'm getting like, too distracted by things going on here. Let's get the battery back online, because that's obviously quite high priority. Have we got enough components for it? Four? I don't believe we do. I think we've got four components. Okay, that's looking good. There we are. I've moved stone cutting up. Oh, look at all the clothes we've got, though. That's working well. Um, I've moved stone cutting higher than mining. So if they mine a stone block, they'll immediately get to work on... Why are you... What? Um, they'll immediately get to work on turning it into blocks. And then that way, Tapir and Sharamus can immediately start turning it into lovely insulated walls. Bro, oh, Robo Daddy. I'm going to keep pushing him here. Making Sombrero cancelled. Okay. I mean, single-handedly, he's almost created us all of our supplies there. I mean, he's done a fantastic job. I think to the extent now where I'm happy to make a winter outfit for them. Uh, Inessa is down. Oh my god, Sharamus with that hat on looks absurd. <laughs> um, what happened to Inessa? Crush orc. She had her lungs crushed by an orc. Ah, I wonder who that could have been. Um, prioritize tending. Yeah, if you don't mind, why are you guys not tending? Because it's lower priority. Oh god. What would have possessed me to have changed that? I don't entirely remember. Anyway, let's get working on these winter outfits. Let's go uh, new outfit. Let's go winter. And let's clear all. We want to go for... Excuse me. Um, we want to go for... Kilts. Uh, dusters. God, this is horrible menu. <laughs> we want to go kilts. Uh, we want to go dusters. We want to go uh, tribal wear. 
That was another one. Tri, tri, tribal wear. Tri, tribal wear. Um, then we want to go sombrero. Some. Okay, that's into headgear. What else was there? Um, I don't remember. Dusters, kilts, tribal wear, sombrero, uh, vests. That's it. So duster, tribal wear, kilt, sombrero, vest. That was everything. Right, got it. Beta flirted with fingers by jokingly half complimenting his family background. What? <laughs> huh. We've got lovers. Um, lovers trapped in a tiny room for a very long time. Well, we'll see if your plan works with the double insulation, because it is basically done here. Um, we need a few more components, though, otherwise we are fucked forever. Because to build that wall through, I did need to... Didn't need to take apart the coolers. Uh, and of course, the coolers always lose one component minimum when we take them apart. So now we are in a bit of trouble. But I'm thinking if we just do a little bit of strip mining, we should probably come across some more in no time. Um, we could just take apart some stuff as well, you know, in the main base. Take apart the coolers, take apart the research bench, take apart the wind turbines, whatever is necessary to survive realistically. Oh, that's a problem. Ah, uh, A psychic droner as well, you son of a bitch. What are mechanoids like at higher temperatures? I.e., do they have a particular temperature that they break down in, for example? Um, 250 degrees. It's actually going to get higher than 250 degrees. So we might be able to wipe out these mechanoids without so much as going near them. We need to deal with the psychic droner before... Before we go into storage. Which means we've got exactly 24 hours now to finish the insulation and prepare what i'm concerned about is that i've also just designated all the trees that are harvestable on the map to be harvested so that we can get passive coolers as a backup um components hang on we wanted components there's some that's just fallen from the sky top priority then mechanoid time uh let's let them have a good night's sleep first because they've got a lot to do tomorrow are those beats those beats are going to be ready that's incredible we get the beats finished um everybody's got the gear i believe so it turns out actually the tribal kilt and the tribal wear are on the same layer so it would be better to, rather than having tribal wear, which covers obviously left leg, right leg, going for a skin layer clothing that only covers the torso. So most likely that'll be what, like a button-down shirt is probably the best for insulation in that regard. Um, what have we even got here? Like a jumpsuit. Oh my god, we can make jumpsuits now. It's too late to be considering that. Um, that does cover everything as well, though, so that would be obviously a bit pointless. That does give 10% global work speed, so when we're out of cold storage... Then that will be top priority. Um, Travel Poncho. What does that give? 9.9. Um, so the Kill Plus Poncho in combination would be... Would be what? 18 degrees? Almost 20 degrees there. Well, actually just shy of 20 degrees of insulation. Whereas just the Tribal Wear by itself. Now, obviously, it's going to require more resources more work. But just the Tribal Wear itself is what? Yeah, not, it's, it's half of that. Okay. Um, and I believe those two can be worn in tandem, can't they? Oh, that's outer layer, you fool. We need skin layer clothing. Um, so that, I believe, is the, again, just the button-down shirt, right? Uh, button-down shirt, skin layer. Right, okay, torso, neck, left shoulder, left arm, right shoulder, right arm. Um, 1.8 degrees. Oh, that's crap. But it is still better. Bear in mind, it's 9.9 .9 degrees for either kill or the... Tribal wear, if you just wear the kilt and then a button-down shirt, you are getting a bonus 1.8 degrees on the same layer. So I guess that wouldn't be too bad. What about shoes? I never considered shoes. Um, okay, let's let's do those as well then. Let's go ahead and paste that. Shit, what did I just do? Oh no. Oh no, stop. Okay. <laughs> um, can we make those out of burlap? Burlap shoes? I didn't think you could. We'll make it out of whatever then if we can. Right, everyone's awake. They seem in okay moods. What's wrong with you? Uh... Inessa, greedy for impressive bedroom, recreation starved, unsightly barrack. That's your fault. That's that's no problem of mine. Okay. Let's do it then. Draft everyone up. Let's kill these mechanoids as fast as possible. I think if we go from this angle, we can probably destroy this without upsetting the... We definitely can. Without upsetting their turrets. Then I think we'll deal with the turrets separately. Nice. Okay. Bolger Trader. <gasps> if, they have, if they have components... This is, a, this is a new game. Right. Get him to destroy that. Here comes the Lancer. Oh, we can't see the Lancer quite yet. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Keep going. There's the Lancer. Open fire. Kill him dead. Oh, these guys are going to rip him apart. Kill him. Kill that man. Please kill that man fast. Oh, Sharamus got pegged. It's fine. I shouldn't really use that word, should I, to describe being hit by a bullet. <laughs> Poor choice. Poor choice, all things considered. Right. Take that down. We're good. Get out of there. Is there components? As one. It's not worth it, is it? Get out of there. Run, 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 run. Haul ass, haul ass. 
Jaramus, what the fuck is wrong with you, brother? Run, Beta. Okay. Sharamus will be fine. Don't worry about Sharamus. I'll deal with him in a minute. Let's go trade with that goods trader. Please. One component, brother. That's all I ask for. Compon oh, no. We have no money. Uh, no money? Uh, let's go ahead and sell the chitin. Let's go ahead and sell... Oh, all this spare crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of all that garbage. Keep the Altex robe because that might come in handy eventually. Doubt it, but we might as well hang on to it. Um, keep the kilt. Yeah, sell all this garbage. Let's got another... Oh, we got a better Altex robe there. You know what? Sell all of it. We'll keep the uh, keep the burlap stuff. Um, let's buy... Let's get that back. Altex helmet we want to keep as well, I, I would assume. Um, flat jacket. I, I mean, it, it'd be pretty good for swapping out when we actually get out of cold storage, right? How are we looking? 37. We can't afford that. Do it. Brother, we have components. Oh, that's a game changer. That might have just saved the colony. That might have just... And of course, I knew that was going to happen. A lot of people are going to be very skeptical about my play there. Uh, obviously, I knew that was... <laughs> obviously, I knew that was going to occur. <clears throat> Not a doubt in my mind. Were we very close to dying horribly there forever? Yes. Yes, we were. I won't lie to you. Um, so we got 20. So it's, I mean, 12, 15, 18, 21. I'm pretty sure we have a component in storage. Done. Oh, look at it. It's the perfect base. Roger will be fine. He's up no time. What are you doing with your gun? You picked it up and started hauling it rather than re-equipping it, the weird man. Have we got enough steel for this? I believe we do. This is looking good. So these are meal tray racks, obviously. Um, you know what we need to do? We need to get fingers cooking packaged survival meals. Like, pretty pronto. How long we got? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> We got like nine hours before the apocalypse rolls up. There's plenty of time for cooking meals. Get to it, fella. Um, I'd like to, if possible, make cleaning the highest priority. Maybe just allow this room to be the only room to be cleaned. What do you think? Just so that he's always going to have a clean area. Now, again, I've got mixed feedback about common sense. I'd love to add it back into the mod pack. But I have so had some people suggest that there are still some issues with that. Um, if anybody can confirm forever that, that, that common sense is good. That would be quite nice to know. Because I do miss some of the aspects of common sense. Um, but I don't want to reinstall it if it's going to cause us issues. And there are times where min-maxing would be a bit more appropriate. Um, let's get some people in here cleaning these rooms. How are we doing with the meals? Nice. That's nice. Okay. Uh, no package of our meals on this one, if you will, Chief. And uh, let's make sure those are moving into here ASAP. Package of our meals, they are set to critical if we can. Let's make sure that's pasted into there as well. Very good. And let's get those moved over. We're going to need a lot of meals for this many people. What I'm going to have to do is probably limit them. One meal a day. Or enough meals so that they don't get malnutrition. Is basically all I can really offer them at this point. I think we'll even go as far as to say dump them straight on the floor. Fingers, are you going to work all night? You are now. <laughs> Kitchen sink cabinet. What is it? Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to build one of those. It's only 100 steel. It might end up speeding them up quite rapidly. Oh! Willa and Rabba? Willow and Ravra are over there taking out the charge lance turrets for us. Incredible. What, what, what good guys. Okay, we'll go and get some free stuff out of that too then. Brilliant. That's incredible. It's on the flare. Oh. It's okay. The gas generator, remember, doesn't rely on that, which is exactly why we've gone to this much friggin' effort. Right, let's path it down through there. Um, how are we looking with the rest of these walls, huh? Need the insulation slab fibers. <gasps> we, we do have a lot of burlap though. To be fair, we have a lot of burlap left over. Um, it might be recommended to not make burlap. Uh, insulation slab fibers. What are you talking about? 260 out of five. What? 260, it says it's got there. Recycle insulation. Oh, oh, you fool. Oh, I've got it the wrong way around. My bad. Let's try that. <laughs> might actually work a little bit better then. Right, for, for, for fingers... Turn and face the strange for, for fingers. I need you making burlap all night, my friend. Burlap? No, no, no. We want you making... Oh, got to be out of cloth. We... Is, is it only burlap left that we can use for that? It is. Wow. So we're going to have to recycle the burlap back down into fibers, which is just a horrible waste. Just a, a completely inefficient, horrible mess. To be fair, it's only to get the secondary layer of the inside wall. This is not life or death, but it would be nice to have. Enemy now neutral. Blue forest settlement. Why? Uh... Oh, was that just a random event? A natural tendency to... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not going to complain about that. That's pretty fucking nice, huh? All right, there we go. It's minus six in there. Oh, man, that is actually working. Look at that. Oh, nice work, team. Uh, Yeah, last time I tested it, the, the, the gas... Uh, sorry, the double layer in walls made fucking no difference at all. Um, That's fantastic. Okay, I wanted to get some other recreation down, but I think in hindsight it's probably a bit folly. Oh, they could if they stood on someone's bed, play it. What about Pharaoh? 
Um, I can't use Pharaoh. Five finger fillet? That seems like a terrible idea. Uh, we could put down a table. Our table? How many people have we got? Eight and eight beds. Okay, that's fine. I guess a couple more coolers if we've got the components for it. Uh, which I'm almost certain we don't, looking at this. We've got two. We don't. <laughs> we've got a little bit of extra space then. Um, again, like a table wouldn't be bad. We could put down some end tables, keep them really happy. I think we get rid of that one end table. We need wall lights, and we need a floor. A floor would come in very, very, very handy. Let's go plant cut highest priority. Get these trees cut. Let's get a wooden floor down. Inferno is today, right? First of December. -y. So it, the temperature is now going to start increasing. So we need to be pretty quick about whatever we're doing. Any final touches need to go through pretty soon. You know, I think we've got a couple of days of relative safety, and then things are going to get a little fucky-wucky. Oh, there's no way to actually control the gas cooler. How does that work then? Sorry, I don't quite understand. Gas produced is uh, 125 meters cubed a day. Uh, and it produces 300 meters cubed per day. So we're using barely any of our gas. But we, we can only have them on or off. Okay, that's an interesting compromise to that. Oh, more meteorites. Uh, did they strike the ground? Oh, these ones perhaps? No, they were there before, right? Was it this? Honestly, don't remember. Uh, rare thrombos. Goodbye, thrombos. Nice knowing you, my friend. How are we doing on the meal front? Because that's the one thing I am genuinely quite concerned about right now. Uh, ten. Ten? Ten. Ten, ten meals. Ten full stop meals. What are you, what are you fucking doing, my man? Uh, I mean, this is technically chilled, right? Oh, God, it's 17 degrees in there now. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, that's done a great job. You're right. Air, air layers. <laughs> um... Maybe I'm misinterpreting how that was supposed to work. Because that seems the same temperature as outdoors. In fact, it's hotter than outdoors. Hmm. Maybe I just don't understand how air layers work in the end. That's it. We're out of materials now to cook more meals. What are we lacking then in that regard? Vegetable nutrition. That's a whole field of beets. <laughs> I think I took them off of harvest a little bit too early there, didn't I? Right, let's go and get them harvesting those as soon as possible. Beets count as meat? Oh, no. Beets are meat. Shit. Um, you have slash needed. So we need 30, 28 beets, 28 corn, 28 of any of the following. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's quite frustrating. Um, <laughs> what if we just allow all? Does that make any no adjustments whatsoever? Okay. I think we'll cook the rest into regular meals. What do you think? Just, just go full-blown survivor meals all the time. On pause. Do forever. It's better than nothing, right? And if it rots within the first few days, it rots within the first few days. I'll forbid the meals to start off with. We'll let them have packaged of our meals after the rest have rotten away. Now, what I've done is I've put down a cooler in the in the air gap uh, just to just to lower the temperature. I, f I figured it might help a little bit, right? What we could do with, let's go uh, tall shelves to fill with wood, steel, components, anything that might make, break down, anything that might come in handy. Squint from the Purple Field Bandits. Manipulative. I've not seen that one before. Trade price and negotiation ability is quite nice. It is the 3rd of December. Things are starting to go a little red. Wow, there we go. It's kicking in now, huh? It's still only 27 degrees. This is more than survivable, especially with their crazy gear that we've given them. You can already see that regular conventional coolers are starting to become ineffective now. We've got 7, 8 degrees in the refrigerator. It's only 43 degrees outside as well. Now, granted, that's quite a large refrigerator for one cooler there. How are we looking in there? Minus five. You've got seven in the air gap, eight in the air gap. I think that's where they're coming, obviously, in and out of the base constantly. Maybe when we're finished doing the cooking and whatever it is else we are doing here to survive, we can kind of lock them away and that air gap will be a lot more effective. Now, let's be sensible about this. There is one way these immortals could all die, and that's if the other prisoners kill them and eat them. So I'm thinking, in the interest of immortal relations, we slay the other prisoners. Is that going to piss my people off? We could just release them. Yeah, why not? They're not going to survive the, the Inferno. They're not going to survive the Inferno, and the other prisoners are just going to eat them anyway. So let's just go ahead and kick them out. Be gone. We're going to get some relations with it, right? So we might as well. Kick them out. Uh, that way we're keeping... So who are we keeping again? With the Immortals. Um, Nadine and Tolda. Everyone else can go. Get out of here. Well, that best deteriorated away to nothing. What? <laughs> what was she doing with that vest? That lasted all of about a few days. Unbelievable. Wow, that's a hell of a squad look though, isn't it? On that top bar. Holy shit, I've just noticed their, their unity. 
That's very nice. 62. I think it's time. I think it's time we call it. Lock them in. Lock them in. Uh, <laughs> if we can actually get them. Get them in. That's a, that's a bigger issue. Right. Let's do that. Uh, is everyone here? Sharamus, you will be the locker of doors. Should we just put down like an insulated block there? I think that probably works the best, doesn't it? Brothers are working on that one. Is everybody is everybody here but Sharamus then? That is everybody. Here we go. Goodbye, sweet world. Now to trap our people in their base. We have no components, so if any of these coolers break down, we're just going to fucking roast. Done. Block them in. Don't do that. Not in, the, not in a crowd of people. What are you doing? <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, let's go to the assign tab. Let's go food restrictions, and let's go ahead and say no package survival meals. Simple meals first. How many simple meals we got? 104 plus another 76 package survival meals. Will that be enough food? I believe it will. I believe it will. Let's get these turned on now. Uh, I turned them off temporarily. We might want to turn them off again if it gets a bit too cold, but we'll see how it how it does. Uh, dropping all the way down to very low levels. Oh, the game is set very angry. Okay, it's fine. There we are. Um, yeah, it's a little bit too cold, isn't it? It's a, a little bit too warm in that other room. Although the air gap, I guess, is kind of working there. Look at that. Oh, what if one immortal just eats the other immortal? Have we got time to move them into separate rooms, do you think? Put one into here, perhaps. I think I'm gonna do that. How fast how fast do you think we can do it? Uh forbid, forbid. Sharamus, this is your job, my friend. Squad up, get out. Okay, Boone, you're kinda of getting on my fucking nerves there, Chief, because that's the one place I don't want you right now. Get back in there. Oh, we can't. There's actually not enough room. Was there a heater in there? God knows what they were thinking with that one. Um, right, take that apart. Go, little Sharamus, go. Very nice. Right, let's get you. Melee attacked. Oh, we're going to have to send Robo Daddy out as well. Fuck, to obviously tend to them. Go. Although they're immortal. Who, who really cares? Ah. Sharamus, did you just do... Sharamus just punched that man's head clean off. <laughs> huh. Um. Never mind. Uh... We don't need a doctor anymore. Sharon has solved that problem. You dick. Okay, I guess we'll pick up Nadine. There you are. Uh, you can go work on this bed. Produs is working on bed. Oh, yeah. You know what? Don't say I never do anything for you, prisoner. Uh, let's give him, a, give him a horseshoe pin as well. Keep him happy. Okay. Now the inferno begins. I think this is it now. Yeah, 70 degrees outside, so... Definitely not going to be surviving long if we were to hang out out there. The The middle gap is 34. The inner base is minus degrees. The only issue is I don't want to turn these off temporarily and then turn them back on because they might not be able to... I guess they'd probably be able to handle the temperature, right? Let's go ahead and turn it off so they're not sitting in what is a freezer for the next few days. There we are. I was kind of hoping the temperature would equalize out. Man, these gas coolers are very effective. They're very effective. Oh god, the game hates them all being blocked up like this, and I'm not really surprised. Okay, so we've only got one gas cooler on right now. That's equalizing it out to about... I mean, it's still refrigerated, technically. Um, I wonder if it'd be a good idea to install one of these coolers out here. Oh, we can't reinstall them. Oh, stinky. Okay, I was hoping we could bring it out here um, to keep all of this stuff refrigerated. Um... Mainly the beets. Oh, the beets boil in 27 days. Well, I guess as the temperature increases, that'll obviously change. But it's just like raw food. Um, just in the case of extreme emergencies. It's still very cold. It's still very, very cold. Uh, the election campaign is on. Beta and fingers are complaining to be the leader of the unmortals. Is that a good idea? Sure. Hey, if you can win an election campaign when all of your citizens are trapped in a cop. Robo Daddy for freedom from the coffin. And they got Beta suggesting maybe they should all stay in the coffin for their own good. Running laps. This is so strange. So all they're doing is running circles. It's not going to change people. I don't know what you're expecting. Simple meal is rotted away in storage. Oh, it's one in the... I mean, that is a 60 degree refrigeration unit. So it's not really much of a surprise. It's 45 in there and it's minus 4 in there. <laughs> I mean, it is quite literally a nice middle ground though, isn't it? To be honest, I can't wait for the temperature to increase. So these guys can actually sit somewhere... That isn't going to freeze them. Oh, we've still got another one on there. Sorry, my bad. I thought we only had one. There we are. Did I accidentally flip that one back on? Maybe it's when I was trying to reinstall it. Um, how are we looking now? That's a bit more livable. There we are. No, they're not going to catch hypothermia during the inferno. That might be a good sign, to be fair. 
if we've got problems of hypothermia in an inferno, I feel like I might have done something right here. But you're right. The air gap does actually work there. When it's when the temperature equalizes out, it does provide a very nice buffer. So I think three air gaps will guarantee... If we, we were to layer this up three times, would be a, a very nice base. I would love to have a big central structure with three central walls around it cascading inwards. What do you think? Still 21 degrees in the central chamber. The two people got married. Beats her own fingers. The marriage we all saw on the cards. Paramedic and B brave. Oh, what sort of job is that? <laughs> brave? Already halfway through the inferno. Beta recruit boon and supporter of beta. Wow. Can you imagine beta and fingers both standing for election? Would the marriage survive such a thing? This is what we're here for in Rimworld. No inhospitable landscapes. No planets on the rim with crazy weather conditions. No harsh survival facing bandits and the empire who is corrupt through and through. Instead, marriage and politics. Welcome to Rimworld. All right, let's get those heaters on, actually. Coolers. Opposite of heaters. It's a common mistake to make. Sharamus, you ended up building half a dozen gas heaters. There we are. Wow, those gas heaters are crazy efficient. One heater's dropped it right down to 12 degrees. Like, single digits. And now it's also going daytime as well. That's insane. Wow, they are a little bit too effective. <laughs> so leave it there for today. Tomorrow, we'll see quite how hot things get. And I'm not just talking about Beta and Sharamus. <laughs> Good times. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Now, as I talked about very briefly in a video I uploaded yesterday, there is going to be some changes with regards to Patreon. Uh, more specifically, we're moving to a separate platform, which is a bit fairer on the, the very generous people who help support the channel and keep it going, in my opinion. A bit more of a hassle for me, but I think that's a fair trade, huh? So, more info. I'll do a dedicated video to that, which I'm sure people will hate at some point. Um, but for the time being, of course, we will still be going from our mighty Patreon lists. A big thank you goes out to Velorain, Hoopaloop, Michael Mullen, Darth Hawk, Siltworm. Gwen S, C Mac, Chase, Bacon Kitten, Kamara Shmail, Kyle, Layla, Jackson Woodman, Huey Longdong, and Alchemia for their sports at the highest level tiers on Patreon. A big thank you to these guys for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well goes out to Danny, Noobmeister, Lampy, Super Danny089, Prometheo, Tiger, Rifter, Demon X Jester, Couch Sitter, Voodoo Mumbo, Warcats, Cogzel, Betamus Max, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Smooth Octopus, Asero, Alex Bogard, and everyone else at Patreon who have kept the channel going over the past many years big thank you to you guys for keeping the dream alive thank you to sharamus for building a lovely base